Can you tell us about Endangered Species and your character in the film? Yeah, totally. So um, yeah, Endangered Species is sort of a, a family drama, um, crazy adventure survival story. Uh, there's a kind of dysfunctional American family that takes a trip to Africa and uh, dad decides that we're gonna save a little money and go out and go on a safari without a guide. And that turns out to be not the best idea. And I play a character named Noah, who's uh, just a kind of a normal kid, just kind of trying to figure things out. Um, he's sort of struggling with his relationship with his dad. Um, he doesn't quite understand or support him fully in his sexuality. And he's kind of pressuring him to stay on the sports team that he doesn't really have that much interest in being a part of. So we see some of that dynamic in the movie. Throughout your career, you've done a fantastic job choosing the projects that you go out for. What was it about this character and script that stood out to you? Oh man, so I mean, it was in the middle of COVID. This was the first production. It was the first movie that I got to go do in a year because everything was shut down. And uh, in Africa, <laughs> in Kenya and going on safari, I mean, I'd never been to Africa before. So immediately I'm like, well, I have to go. And uh, I mean, I, I didn't regret it. It was, it was absolutely incredible to see all of those animals and to work with MJ and the whole cast. I mean, we, we had a blast and I, I'll never forget all the things that I saw and learned while I was there. Yeah, and Noah has a beautiful transformation throughout the film. How did you prepare to tackle his journey and how similar or different are you to him? Um, well, I would just say that I, I can certainly relate to Noah because um, I, I know what it's like to have people have an idea of how they want your life to go and uh, you to sort of want to explore your own thing or to just not know in general. I mean, kind of comes with being an actor and uh, moving out to California and having no idea what I'm doing. And uh, I think, uh, you know, it's just, I'm, I'm just glad that I got to tell that story. I'm glad that, I'm glad that the story wasn't necessarily about, oh, this is my character and my character is gay, but it was just like, a, it was just a, that just, my character just happened to be gay. And, and it was actually really nice to have a mostly supportive family uh, around as well in the story. Uh, and at the end of the day, I think, um, I think when you look at the relationship with the, the father and the son in this film, I think the father just, um, I don't think the father like really has a really strong issue with his son. I, I feel like, I feel like every parent just kind of like has an idea of how they want their kid to be. And, um, when you know your life is on the line, I think you see what's really important. So it's just mm -hmm. a nice, it's a nice arc, and I could definitely draw from some experiences to play that role. Yeah, great answer. How did you and Philip approach that dynamic between your two characters? Well, um, luckily for us, we got to shoot mostly in order, and uh, yeah, uh, I feel like. It was, it just, it came really naturally. I mean, Philip is a pro, uh, you know, he's, he's very experienced and, um, you know, we, we just kind of chatted and got to know each other. We didn't really talk that much about, um, about it. I think we wanted it to just be fresh when we were uh, doing things. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. It was, it was really wonderful to work with, with Philip and the rest of the cast. Like you were saying earlier, you shot this film entirely outdoors. What was that experience like? Did that bring any challenges? Oh yeah, I mean, it was hot, and um, the the drives oftentimes to get to the location were very long, and the days were very long. But it was worth it. I mean, there's no green screen in the movie. Everything you see is real, except of course for the animals that are attacking us. And um, yeah, uh, I got food poisoning while I was there. That was pretty tough during filming. We pre I pretty much worked almost every day, so um, there wasn't a lot of downtime. And I'm like, we just have to go with it. You know, we're out there, we're sweating, we're, we're uncomfortable in the movie, so I just used it. And uh, you, you, know, you, you, don't, you don't see what happens after a cut. And I'm like, you know, we're running to go like, <laughs> use your imagination. It was pretty rough, but um, 
I mean, it, it was fun. I didn't even mind it that much. You know, it was just, it was an experience and it was easy to act in that environment because it was all so real. Another thing I'd like to uh, share is that um, in early in the movie, we're trying to find animals, like a, the family, we're looking for the animals. Um, and we're like, where are they? But in reality, there were so many animals everywhere. That it was hard to get a shot where there weren't any animals <laughs> in the, you know, on the screen. So I thought that was kind of kind of funny. Yeah, that's super cool. With the, the film coming out in a few days, what do you hope audiences take away? Yeah, yeah, coming out, I guess, in a little over a week now, May 28th. Um, I... I guess I just hope that audiences can watch the film and get a little glimpse into how beautiful, you know, Africa is and nature and these animals. And uh, it's nice to just raise some awareness that there is this illegal wildlife trade going on. And there are people out there who are trying to do something about it, who put their lives on the line. So, you know, we can appreciate them. And um, if anyone watches the film and feels compelled to do something about it i mean i just hope that i just hope that it spreads awareness of that look how beautiful this world is and there are people out there that are destroying it mm -hmm. um, you know. yeah great answer and in addition to acting you re also recently started releasing your own original music can you tell us a little bit about your latest single make it yeah. easy and the inspiration behind it yeah my yeah um so I, I'm really excited. I have some new music coming out and I am just, I can't wait to share. I don't have a date yet, but it will be really, really, really soon. But yeah, I do have two songs out and my, my latest song, Make It Easy. Uh, what was that about? <laughs> um, it was just sort of uh, about, uh, you know, uh, oh, I think that's my, like, uh, it was a good breakup song, a good... Um, you know, I think that was a friendship breakup. That's right. Yeah. I'm like trying to remember what my own song was about. I, I write so many songs that I, it's hard to keep track. Yeah. That was a good friendship breakup song. A lot of people think that was a romantic one, but it wasn't, it was actually about a friendship breakup, but um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm always working on music in my downtime when I'm not acting on screen and I'm just, I'm so excited to share that with everyone. So, you know, stay tuned, uh, follow me on my Instagram, at the Michael Johnson, and I'll be posting all about that and any other upcoming projects. Uh, final question for you. Um, actor musicians have often said that like, when you're releasing your own music, you have to tap into a different side of your vulnerability. Do you feel similarly? And what have you learned from releasing your own original music that you've now been able to apply to your acting career? Oh, that's a good question. Um, yeah, I mean, whenever you're I mean, I don't know, I can't speak for every songwriter out there, but uh, for me, a lot of my songs are pretty much like, it's almost like you're, I'm writing a diary and then singing it. So of course there's a lot of vulnerability there. And it, but it's also nice to sort of not be too specific so that a lot of people can listen to it and take different things away from it. And so that's what I strive for in my music. And to be honest, I'm pretty new with my music career. Uh, you know, I'm not with the label, I'm just kind of figuring out my sounds. Still, which is why I'm so excited for this new music I have coming out. It's a, it's a, it's a little more, I would say, adult than some of my previous songs. Um, I can't wait to share it. But yeah, I mean, um, when it comes to the music, what I love about music versus acting, I love both and I will continue to do both. What I love about the music is that it's mine. I get to write it and I get to sing it and I get to do it the way I want to do it. It's my vision and uh, it's really nice. It's a nice supplement to my acting work because of course I draw from my experiences and my acting, but it's not necessarily my story. So doing it all is just a great way to stay sane, especially during these crazy times that we live in because when I'm here working at home, I think it's better to like pull out my guitar and work on music than to maybe play video games, you know, everything in moderation. Mm -hmm.